What is up, YouTube? We are back with another Coops Collection box opening. We're going to go ahead and dive into another Dragon Ball Super box. We've got Colossal Warfare this time from set four. Uh, I think this one actually has a promo card in it, uh, unlike the last one. We'll, we'll crack it open, see if there is one. Actually, going to do some research this time and figure out what cards are worth. All right, so there's like a giant something in here. Let's see what this is the promo card. A lot bigger than the normal cards, which is interesting. Awaken Perfection, Haradugarn. Again, butchering names. Kind of what I do at this point. So we'll see what else we can get, though. I think one of the bigger ones, the Triple Flash Son Goku, I actually had that one. So I actually sent it off to PSA a while back, about six months ago. I pulled this out of a random booster pack that I grabbed at a card shop. Sent off to PSA, it was like a $6 card at the time. So this Raw right now, I think might be going for 15. I thought I even saw it for like 35 bucks. So this card must have changed as far as the metagame. So this is probably worth more Raw than it is as a PSA 10, just because I don't know that a lot of people collect these, but we'll see. Maybe we can pull one and, and sell it off. But I'm gonna go a little faster today than I did in the first video not read names because I'm not going to pronounce them right anyway. And then just see if we can get any good hits. So at all costs, super rare Vegeta. So not sure if that was going to be worth anything, but I didn't see it when I first looked at the uh, set list. So probably not. Try to hold my left hand a little st more still. So that's going to be a reverse hollow uncommon. And then a regular rare, Sun Gohan. I'll probably edit a lot of the cutting and whatever because at the end of the day, we just want to see the cards. Reverse Hollow, no, regular rare, Successor of Hope. I think that's even, so I think that pack art is actually the regular version of this, which is a special rare. So you can see the special rare down at the bottom, SPR. So I think even this as a regular has some value because I think for the meta right now, people are using it in their decks. So even if we pull that, it might be worth a couple bucks. Regular rare. And the secrets go for, you know, well, at least the one in this set's like $80, so. Regular rare, Burst Energy Bardock. Regular rare. King Piccolo. I've been switching back and forth from the sides in the box. I should have just picked one side to get, go through so that I knew when I was halfway through, but we'll figure it out. Rare. Banisher Foo. No real hit so far. Dark Control Rare. I'll try to edit it down and make it a little quicker too. Instant Fusion, no, Instant Transmission, Reverse Hollow Common, cool looking card. And then Rare, Burst Energy Bardock. Reverse Hollow Seasoning Arrow, Uncommon. 
and a rare rampaging grade eight baby. Reverse Hollow Uncommon, Son Goku, and a rare Lord Slug, Young again. Instead of just the character's name, it always has some sort of, like this, Plucky Dynasty Pan. So, not just Pan. Reverse Hollow Common. I like all these Reverse Hollows actually are really nice because they have so much hollow on them. Looks really cool. And a rare. So you can see, so manufacturing wise, you can see a print line. See that line that goes right across the middle there? So fresh from a pack, just purely a manufacturing defect. I feel like if I were to send this off to PSA, which I want it because it's just a regular rare, they would take that down to a 9 out of 10 just because. They're really looking for things that are perfect, both from a manufacturing perspective as well as from wear and tear. So you might have a pack fresh card that can't get a 10 just because manufacturing wise it got real messed up. Actually, when I was trying to get some Pokemon Burning Shadow set cards for grading, they were really difficult to find because regular, oh no, super rare, Sand Onslaught Kefla. The Burning Shadows are really tough to find without whitening on the back because apparently there was a really bad manufacturing run when they were doing Burning Shadows. So there's a ton of Burning Shadows cards that just are not going to ever get 10s because they've just got tons of whitening on the back and manufacturing errors and all that stuff. So but I've seen a lot of the hollows in the DBZ sets have kind of that printing defect. Rare Sand Strength Baby. I mean, if they're quick, it looks like I'm about 10 minutes so far, so. Be a solid 10 minutes each. And you can pick and choose what you want to watch. Super rare, Temporal Darkness. Very cool. I keep forgetting about the dash packs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get those opened up. So this is from the Series 3 booster box. We opened that one the other day. I think I've got two of these, and then I've got some, and I, Oh, I, I honestly felt like I was cutting into the card, so it doesn't look like that's the case. So this is Great Ape Prince Vegeta, promo rare, so PR. Looks like it's a different one. Combination Attack Pan, promo rare. So that was from the Series 3, and then I also have two from Series 4. Four, which is what we're opening the Colossal War for one right now. So we'll see what we can get in here. Ultimate Form Sun Goku. All right, different one. Piccolo Jr. Driven to fight. Hoping to pull that secret rare still. Or even a special would be nice. But no luck so far. Uncommon Reverse Hollow, regular rare. Gotta go a little faster. I don't know if people prefer Carrying Mother Videl Reverse Common and a rare Dimensional Banisher. I think we pulled that one. I don't know if people prefer quick openings, slow openings, I mean, because I could honestly just go, did we get anything? Super rare, Kami's Power Piccolo. So I could do that, I can just scan through all the cards. I'll probably just finish it off. Really depends on how long I want the videos to be, but it's not quite as fun, right? Bit of a build up with looking at the comments and uncommons, but nothing too crazy. Super rare, eight baby.
Super Absolute Space Trunks. Super Rare Combo Killer and Eliza. Another Great Ape Baby Rare. Man, maybe I'll uh, just use all my bad luck on the Dragon Ball cards and I'll actually pull some good stuff in the Yu-Gi-Oh. We'll see. Regular rare, King Piccolo. Last pack, can we get the secret rare? Probably not. Can we get a special rare? Also probably not. I'll take either at this point. Reverse hollow, un or no, reverse hollow common. And the final card, Diddly Squat. Rare. That's actually the promo we got, so. That seems awfully fitting. All right, well, thanks for watching, appreciate it. Uh, I'll probably be putting a lot of this stuff on either eBay or my TCG store. But uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, smash that like button, really helps me out.